Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia quick tip. So, uh, in our Facebook group I got an interesting question and this was about the Varanoi fracture here and uh, how is it possible to uh, align the norm uh, to the axis correct when you, when you make this editable with current state to object um, normally you get the axis like this so, so they are not aligned to, to the normals and we want it like this but so that it's uh, each piece has the correct axis and I want to show you how you can do this and uh, because there are some use cases for this and uh, yeah let's make this sphere here Moink. so then uh, make Robert uh, Walker for Neuflecture and we have the 20 pieces now here so you see here in the sources we have generator with 20 pieces the so 20 points in this case and let's make a little so okay we have these 20 pieces here and now let's say i want to move uh, the pieces uh, outwards and uh, this isn't really possible here. So in this case, it isn't possibly easy with, with the factors or transformers. The transform uh, the normal direction in cinema is uh, uh, C. The C direction is normally the normal direction. So, but you see, we, we get all together here. Even if we put here an, an plane effector inside, go to the plane effector, ba -ba -ba -ba, plane effector. And I want to change the position. The effector is here inside, you see. And position C, and everything works together. And so I cannot put the uh, individual pieces or the, the single pieces outward. Good. Let's do something. Go to here, delete the effector out here. I keep it for, for later to, to prove if everything works. And uh, don't want here coralization. And now I simply, yeah, in this case, because cinema still has the bug when you make uh, everything, uh, when you make the current state to object, you get all of the uh, selection tags. We don't want it, but we get it. If it wouldn't be like this, if it would work correct, you would go to the selections. And we need the outside faces here. See, so we get the selection tag. And normally when I say current state to object, we should have only this selection tag on the pieces. But this is not the case, so we can do something like this. And right click current state to object. So we can write this. And you see we have all the selection tags and nobody needs it. The only selection we need is this one here, the outside faces. So I can delete the other ones. So I click to here and hold my shift key and click on this one, delete them here, hold my shift key, back, delete this. <laughs> so I have now only the selection tag, a phone tag and a UV tag. So and now we have the same here. When I use the plane effector here, put it inside here and set the plane effector in the deformer to uh, object you will see we still when we go here it everything goes together and this is not what we want we want the single pieces going outwards so that means you see we have here now the single uh, pieces here let's make it like this so and you see the uh, axis is totally not correct good so let's change this. What we need? We need uh, all the selection tags here. And now we say uh, select. That means all of our uh, pieces here, when we go into the you see we have selected now the outside faces. This is exactly what we need. With this selection here, we go to our mesh, axis tool, axis center tool, and here we say we want the 
axis centered to the selected polygons because we have this selection here now and the alignment we can go to uh, if you go to all it would uh, align in the y direction but uh, we, as i said normally in cinema the normals show in the c direction so i go here to c the normals and that's all and i hit execute so what we get now is i go to this one here and we will see the axis the c axis is exactly where it should be that means now i can work with the plane effector when i go to the plane effector and now i go to the c direction we can go outside now and this is exactly the use case for this so that we can do something like this okay yeah that, that's that's it more than less now we have every single part has has as its now come on correct axis here we see here correct axis everything works fine here if you want for any reason if you want the a C direction exactly on the outest uh, point here you can go simply to the axis tool again axis center and in the C axis change it to auto update you see it goes here now we are exactly on the most outer point here and that's it so I hope you need this some well, I don't know, <laughs> but this is how you can make this. Okay, next tutorial will be on uh, weekend, but this will be again a, a, a Patreon tutorial because I did uh, I don't know, the day before yesterday or so, or no, a few days ago I did uh, an, a free tutorial, and if you haven't seen it, watch it if you like, <laughs> and yeah. So this was the quick tip and hopefully you are with me in my next tutorial or next video or whatever I do. <laughs> okay, bye bye, have a nice weekend and uh, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye bye and tschüss und baba aus Wien from Vienna.